All right, what's up, guys? Uh, Belton here. I uh, just wanted to introduce a new podcast and weekly series I've been thinking about starting for a while, finally getting around to it. Uh, PO Economics. Uh, purpose of this series, more or less, uh, the TLDR before I get into more detail, is uh, taking questions from the community about things involved in the trading and economic side of Path of Exile um, in a forum where I can give a uh, sort of live feedback and opinion based. Uh, information for those who are interested so uh you know past that now uh for those of you who don't know who i am again my name is belton i've played path of exile for about two years now uh pushing probably uh seven eight nine thousand hours i don't play through steam so i can't tell you exactly um i play in the soft core leagues uh almost exclusively i do some trading in standard uh however it's important to understand going forward that the perspectives in which i speak from will be uh, that of a soft core player. Um, so take it with a grain of salt and make sure that you, um, you know, before you act on anything I say, if you are to, that uh, you compare that for the league in which you're playing. Um, I typically make between five, uh, well, I'd say at a bare minimum, 500 X a league. Uh, this league here currently uh, sitting around about uh, just under 3,000 exalts. Uh, we've got uh, four legacy reach of the councils, uh, two legacy Calm's hearts, um, you know, some four modded jewels, rat's nest, skyforth, headhunter, plus one max res stuff, you know, some plus one curse things. Um, just a lot of little goodies here. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we, we've been able to develop a pattern of uh, economic activity that has allowed us to succeed on a relatively um, consistent basis. So, uh, <clears throat> I've been able to do this mostly by uh, tracking behavioral patterns and, and, you know, learning a lot about the game through trading and through taking the initiative to learn about, um, you know, items uh, for a variety of builds. When I first started the game, like most other people, uh, you know, I, I was, you know, it's wonderful, very, uh, very diverse game. You have lots of options. You know, I played a variety of builds back when I started the processes of trading and uh, looking up items and whatnot were a little bit uh, more complex than they are now. So. Uh, you know, the countless hours I've spent doing this over time allowed me to sort of uh, notice a bunch of patterns in terms of pricing of items over leagues. Um, and, you know, the same at the same time, how players would sort of interact with these items. Uh, and a certain, like, at a certain point, it came to uh, sort of a, a threshold where we were able to realize, um, you know, we don't have to buy items for self-use only, but we can buy items uh, for... Uh, appreciating value and uh, see them more as investments. Um, you know, getting past that idea or that sort of paradigm of just mapping to generate currency was really one of the, the catalysts that kind of propelled us to, um, you know, that next level of wealth within the game. Uh, so that's uh, really what we're going to try and talk about here um, is mostly a focus on how to gain currency outside of the mapping meta. That's not to say that, you know, running maps, killing mobs, having items drop uh, in any ways inferior in terms of play style. Um, you know, you should play the game the way you want to. Autonomy is a very important thing. And, at, you know, at its core, the diversity of Path of Exile is, is really its, its, uh, its major selling point for me, at least. So, um, you know, just take this with a grain of salt. I'm not trying to influence how you guys play the game. But, you know, if you are looking to uh, improve this side of things, because I think it's an area where a lot of people are, um, you know, fairly, uh, not necessarily ignorant, but, uh, you know, could use some improvement and maybe have some, uh, uh, some misconceptions. Uh, that's, you know, variety of reasons, but uh, we can go over those in more detail uh, in the future. So in regards to the series going forward, uh, the way that I'd like to do this format wise is I will post these videos uh, once a week or once every two weeks, depending on the activity um, and, you know, the need for it uh, to Reddit um, and obviously on YouTube as well. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, uh, in terms of uh, a macro perspective of the economy. So, you know, Belton, how do you know um, when items are going to value? How do you know which items? appreciate how do you invest here what are some trends that happen over the league you know those those bigger scale questions are, are perfectly appropriate um but you know if you also wanted to ask something more immediate like belt and wide exults go from 75 uh, chaos to 110 chaos you know I, I, some things i can uh, speak on with a certain degree of certainty some things will be speculatory but i'll make sure to uh, you know address that ahead of time just so that there's no confusion um so when I post a video to Reddit and to YouTube, uh, you can leave questions there. Uh, other people, if you have some interest in those questions, you can feel free to upvote them. Uh, there's not really any purpose in 
asking the same question twice because I will uh, prioritize questions that have a more of an interest. So, you know, if, if there's 30 or 40 upvotes on one question, obviously I'll put more research and explanation um, and, you know, designate more time towards that video or sorry, that question than I would one that uh, is just, you know, asked by a single individual. Um, so both formats, YouTube and Reddit, allow for upvotes. Now, naturally, there's, you know, there's going to be some trolley uh, upvotes, so I will use discretion in which ones I pick. Um, however, you know, the next week or I will pick, you know, 10 or 20 questions, depending on the complexity required of each one. Explain those to my best of my ability, and we can do that on an ongoing basis um, thereafter. So <clears throat> uh, the reason for wanting to do this is that uh, I think, you know, Path of Exile is kind of a at its core a hardcore gamers game uh you know there isn't a tutorial or a guidebook or really any kind of centralized or aggregated information source um so it's kind of hard to know where to get help there's lots of information out there but it's also very difficult to vet that information and know if it's coming from a, a you know a reliable source um in regards to the legitimacy of the money i've acquired here you know Obviously, people would like to say RMT, RMT. Uh, one thing that you should know is that I stream 100% or record 100% of the gameplay that I have. So every exalt is accountable um, in a public matter. Uh, you can see every trade I've ever made, every strategy. Um, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but it is demonstrable. And uh, there is, you know, video evidence of these things. Uh, of course, you know, this isn't going to be for everyone. But um, again, it's... Uh, uh, you know, it, it has something that we've uh, been able to, um, you know, reproduce league by league and really uh, only gain uh, momentum with. I think that this is largely due to the fact that there has been an increasing for players that have been in the game a long time. They've, you know, again, they started off at a position where you had to actively seek out information and that again it's a compounding resource knowledge in this game uh you know investing into your understanding of how things work uh will yield uh exponential results in the future and i think that uh, there's been a trend um sort of in the community to homogenize uh perspectives and to base opinions on you know group think rather than research or any kind of data-driven analyses. So uh, that's the more of the side that I'd like to focus on. And if, you know, that's something that's of interest to you, then then this is uh, probably a good forum for those questions to be discussed. Uh, as I mentioned in the, you know, I only play in softcore leagues typically. So if this is uh, a series that gains traction or if people, you know, uh, develop any interest in this, uh, I'd love to have other people who are, you know, thought leaders or, uh, you know, demonstrably successful in hardcore or in standard as well come uh, speak to those topics for the people who have questions from the perspective of those leagues. Uh, where I feel like it's appropriate, um, you know, certain things like vol orbs or the calculations on, on you know, probability, uh, those are going to be universal between leagues, but, um, you know, more cyclical trends and, and behavioral based uh, investment strategies are going to vary, uh, you know, based on where you are. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to get involved with this going forward, um, you know, you can just upvote, ask your questions. Uh, again, be, uh, be careful about not asking the same question if it's already been there. Make sure you read other people's questions too. Uh, I'm t currently at the moment not allowed to post onto Reddit, so um, I won't be able to answer any questions there. So just keep in mind that on an ongoing basis, this will be coming through the video format. Um, from my side of things, it, uh, it'll allow me to designate less time uh, when I'm live streaming to answering questions over and over because a lot of people have, you know, hey, Belton, it's the start of a league. How do I, you know, I've got a couple X. What's the best way for me to, you know, compound that wealth at an early rate? Uh, at an early stage so that I can, you know, be successful from uh, from the beginning and, you know, carry that on through the rest of the league. Um, there's also some other things like sort of uh, the math will affect this. You know, I, I'd like to to clarify the uh, uh, the efficacy of that as an investment strategy. And there's, there's a, a lot of other things, too, that I'll maybe bring up uh, on my own that I think would be useful for the community. But um, on the whole, uh, I'd like for this to be a resource for you guys to ask any questions you want. And, uh, you know, I, I can have more uh, preparation and forethought into answering them. And you can uh, have a resource to come back and consult to get those answers in the future. So this is just a little off the cuff here. I have some notes to my side. Uh, in the future, I'll try to make it, you know, a little bit more um, regimented and uh, structured. But um, 
Hopefully this is uh, something that's of interest to the community. When I sent out a couple of feelers on Reddit earlier, it seemed like it was something people were interested in. So looking forward to hearing your questions. Uh, if you have any suggestions about the formatting or uh, you know anything in that uh, in that realm, uh, or, or anyone would like to get involved with helping to edit, because I don't know how to edit anything, or if you're a, a hardcore or a standard player that would uh, you know like get involved with this as well, then uh, feel free to, con uh, to contact me. Um, be happy to talk. So good luck, guys, and uh, I will uh, see you next week. Cheers.